Well, welcome back in again. Thanks for coming along for the ride. That open photo was one of the odd wise working its way up the wall. Well, uh, towards the, the ladders and stuff uh, in one of the local hand runs. And uh, we're going to start off with a little bit of that in this video. Uh, uh, just some video I took just to show you the, the, the power of the water coming down. And maybe you'll see a few wells wives just swinging on through. Uh, of course, that fin in the picture there in a little pool off to the left resting, leaning you know, as they made a long journey, and they're going to make a longer journey uh, at this this run for sure to get to where they want to be. And where they want to be, I saw one of my friends, the Osprey, for the first time this year, and just one, first one, uh, and it actually was the 16th, so that is the earliest for me, actually, I've ever seen an Osprey. I mean, I know they do show up a little bit early, usually it's right around the spring equinox to the 24th or so that... The flood comes in, or even a few years I've had them as late as the 28 in uh, my main area. But anyhow, uh, that just part of the excitement that we got going on. We got so much excitement. We got the frogs breeding. We got some snakes out. We got things are starting to come alive. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this episode. We're gonna show you a few few cool things. We're gonna talk about a few cool things a little bit. This is not about the quality of photographs, okay? I mean, I do got a picture just to show you. Ooh, there's an Osprey in. But that, it's not something that I would ever, ever even like uh, say, wow. Ooh, out, hey, it's me. Who cares, right? My only goal is to get someone to look at nature and appreciate it. And I'm not looking at the, the per perfect picture out there. For, for, for me when I'm doing it. I'm just trying to capture as much life and bring it into your living room. Uh, certainly I do get some good shots every now and then when I get a little lucky, but uh, that's the way it goes here. So let's just roll right in it. We're gonna start with the hair and run. Then uh, we'll, 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 you know, we'll go through it. It's just gonna be, uh, I did actually do with the wood frogs and this is really cool. Uh, I actually did, usually I shoot in slow-mo a lot of times. Uh, just because it's, you know, you get no camera shake, but I got a little bit better setup, and I actually did a, with, with my Nikon D780, I did a, some 4K stuff, I guess they call it. I guess it's 4K. Who knows? Who knows? <coughs> Peace. Thanks for tuning in. So that gives you an idea how thunderous the uh, water is moving, and uh, and there they are, and where uh, you know where all the bubbles are and stuff. You see a heron pass through there. You can see another one come up by here. There. I mean, they, this is a tough, tough journey, and uh, where these herring are, they got two more ladders to uh, reach their destination to, uh, to breathe. And what an amazing cycle of life this is. Uh, and it, it, you know, this is one of them little pools off to the, the side. They're resting here halfway. They tried to make the waterfall bloom back or, the, or the, where it's gushing out of the ladder bloom back. And they just need to, they just spent so much energy uh, at this point. It's just an amazing, uh, amazing feat, you know, returning back to the fresh waters to spawn. It's just absolutely, uh, and they are the lifeblood. They are the lifeblood of the area, for sure. It's uh, so needed with these animals. Uh, and uh, now we took the canoe out, got the canoe out. Got a little mute swan there. I like the eye level. This one here, cute little photo uh, with, the, with the turtle and the duck. And a little mallard female. And, you know, you wonder what they have to say to each other. Uh, I'm certainly seeing, I mean, a ton of painted turtles out on the on the 16th, uh, so, you know, they're getting their first sunshine, and there is that dot over there, ooh, what is that, and right away I knew what it was, as soon as I saw a bird hovering, and a long way away, and a uh, little bit of a proof, it is an osprey, yes, what a great photo, huh, anybody want to buy that one, just uh, go to J&D Nature Images, it will not be on that site, and uh, so, uh, as I traveled, that was my Saturday, Sunday, uh, I'm gonna go into my sanctuary after the rain, and, uh, Came across a nice black vulture here. Huh? Right, that's nice. Little, you, you don't see my, as many blacks as you see turkeys for sure, but blacks are showing up in this area uh, certainly uh, quite, quite more common now. They're not, not really uh, a non common species, I would say. Uh, uh, doesn't like what he's having, which was an opossum uh, 
I was off the side of the road that he, he was going back and forth. Uh, they're not as big as the turkey vultures, and you, you can see also, you know, when they're flying, you can pretty much tell the difference very easy. Very, very short tail feathers on the black vultures. Uh, wait, and this one, you know, doing a little walkabout there. Uh, certainly, anytime you get to spend a little with a different creature that you don't get up close with, it's it's nice. And so I'm going into the woods, and this yelling looks like it's sleeping. It's like, wow, that's like a wow. I mean, you're on foot, but I was, you know, the ground's very silent right now, and uh, nice little yelling in the woods. Uh, mom's not around. Mom, hopefully, mom. Well, you never know where mom could be as uh, the culling operation has taken place. Uh, as we make our way towards the Vino Pool, we see some eggs that are already out of the water, which I'm a little bit, uh, if anybody can give me any info on that. I believe they are, they're definitely wood frog eggs, uh, I'm pretty sure. And then uh, we also come across a goddess snake here and uh, do a little video here and watch the goddess snake uh, just so stay frozen frozen for the longest of time that really amazing uh how snakes you know the feel of vibrations and stuff that's they're picking off the ground probably probably you know my tripod setting it up and stuff trying to get some video through some some tough debris and stuff and i'm very actually happy that this is you know this was not a clean shot to get at all in uh you know seeing your first snake of the year you know it's just i don't know for me I love all life, and it's just really, really a, a blessing. Uh, now, you're going to get some little movement here, and uh, it's tough at this time of year. You know, they're just coming out of the dens. The first thing that's on their mind is mating. 100% mating is the first thing on their mind. But uh, you see the tongue flipping. Unfortunately, he's in the other direction. Uh, and the tongue flicking again there, whether he's trying to sense a female, whether he's really having problems. Uh, I'm sure. It looked like a male to me. I mean, I did not. I mean, it was, you know, size-wise, it certainly was not a big female. Females are much larger. Uh, sexually dimorphosis. And a lot of snakes, is, uh, females are, are larger than the males, you know. Uh, uh, and just love the way uh slithering around there. And, you know, we'll turn this into uh, just watching the sounds. So uh, here we got a wood frog. Uh, you know what? They're the loudest of the uh, of the frogs right now. Uh, certainly, if you get near peepers, they're definite. But you see how this one blew up near its lung sacs there. That helps the the power of the croaking. And uh, we'll just go with some video of some nice sound of that beautiful spring wood frogs. <laughs> Well, I will do it for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you feel alive. You're hearing them frogs. You're seeing the heron come up. The ospreys are returning. woo -hoo! Yes, it is. Saw a few fly catchers this week. Uh, Eastern Phoebe's. Phoebe's, Phoebe's. I, I always mess that one up, but it's Phoebe's, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Phoebe, Phoebe. That's what the bird says, so it's got to be a Phoebe. Uh, anyhow, uh, it's really, really the most exciting time of the year. Every 
you you, you don't you, you don't even know what to do. You got so many things you wanna that are just coming out and just doing this and doing that. Uh, and there's only a limited time of the day, and I'm back in the canoe, which is always good uh, because uh, there's, there's life all around. So, uh, well, thanks for tuning in. I will be back next week for sure because it's exploding out there. Get out there, share it with somebody. Maybe you know, take take the time to to just sit back under a tree and listen to the frogs in the woods like I do. You won't go nuts. Didn't. Well, maybe I did. Well, who knows? Peace.